I have to admit it to everybody because this has been a thorn for a long time. The PlayStation 5 controller isn't terrible, okay? I said it. What? Hey, I'm Marcus. I'm filling in for Atrex. And I'm Nick. We are working class nerds. You the intro. That's right, we are Working Class Nerds, the podcast that gives you no information about your favorite information. Today is Thursday, February 22, 2024, and you can find this 236 podcast on any podcast format in the galaxy far, far away. Did you know you can also find every single Working Class Nerds episode on YouTube? Just search for the Working Class Nerds podcast or go to youtube.com slash Working Class Nerds, click on playlists, click on Working Class Nerds, and Boom! Every episode, past and present, right at your fingertips. You can watch me multi-stream on all of the platforms, Tuesday, Saturdays, and Sunday nights at kick.com slash MarcusB814, twitch.tv slash MarcusB814, and youtube.com slash at Working Class Nerds. And if you want to find the real Atrex, you got to wait Friday nights, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, twitch.tv slash A underscore Atrex. And you can check out Doritos' new creative writing project, all about the search for the deafening silence in our Discord, the link for which is in the show notes below. And it's all about Nick missing from streaming worlds. Yes. Bump and we're all on the social media. I'm at MarcusP814. You can find Atrax at Atrax <laughs> underscore A. <laughs> and I'm at Nick Vern. That's NACKVR. And in this week's episode... We have a lot of gaming news to go over. <clears throat> Joining us this week is the Nerds Community Manager, the tabletop tyrant himself, Joey Feta. <laughs> so welcome good. back, Joey. And what have you been up to? I was so waiting for the burr, 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 Yeah, but burr, every burr. time I click those buttons, if I do it on Discord, like it doesn't get recorded by Riverside, so nobody hears it in the audio version. Matt's oh, just, so we're just laughing, uh, and then because Matt, hit, shout out to our friend Matt. What's up? What up, Matt? Um, so like, hey, FYI, you can't hear any of the Discord sounds in uh, in the recording. And then if I do the, the last few times I've used the media board in and in, in Riverside, it's gotten screwed up. So I gotta find a, a better way. There has to be another way. But there's anyway, always another way. Get yeah. shit on. Get, get shit, shit on. That's my favorite. <laughs> your ass well there's uh, see if you had a mixer you could do well, it like if I when had i a, a streaming mixer yeah right if I yeah had, yeah i, I yeah. have a mixer well not here but not no today i should say. i know what you mean but yeah because when i when i host riverside you can hear it yeah mm. because you have don't you can set programs to be channels on your mixer yeah i can't do that on my uh on the mixer that I have, but um, yeah, but Joey, what's up, man? How's it going? It's going how, good. Thanks for having things? me. Filling in for Atrax, always a blast. Um, I heard he's up to some no good stuff right now. Yeah, I heard he's <sighs> he's uh, like a pro gamer now or something, and he's yeah, too good he's, for us. He's yeah, pro. He's, he's, he's way too good corners, for us. Getting headshots, you know, tossing grenades off the rip, holding angles, popping yeah, smokes. Exactly, popping smokes. Dude, I don't care what you say. There's nothing like throwing a smoke grenade in the woods. Like a yeah. real good one. Not one that just has like a little stream of smoke. The ones that actually like cover the Choke whole you. paintball field. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That is that is cool when you throw it and you're like, mm-hmm. yeah, I just screwed everything up. <laughs> the best part is, is every time I've ever thrown one of those in the woods playing paintball, we like won shortly after. So we just had to deal with this cloud of smoke for an unnecessary amount of time. <laughs> yep. Oh That's a bad. Those are, there's a time this is a total sidebar, but this was a, there was a time where I wanted to I was looking up YouTube videos on like how to make one yourself because they were too I couldn't buy one. So it's like, "Oh, just go get saltpeter and fucking cook it on the stove." <laughs> and I, I was like, "What? The YouTube guy in the YouTube video did it fine." What do you mean this is dangerous? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you blow up the whole fucking house, you idiot. <laughs> oh my 
my god. I thought you could you could also make them with the, the like stump out chemical too. Stump stump out. Yeah, like the stuff that you put on tree stumps and it'll just eat it away so you don't have to grind it. Oh, probably. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I it's, don't remember. It's just like pelletized acid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. It was like, yeah. it was like an acid and <laughs> Salt or something. It's totally fine for like a just thirteen year old to just be, be good. Just chuck it in one of your parents. <laughs> Imagine I did that in one of my dad's all clad pans. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would. Die. Dude, I still want to do that Normandy event. I forget when it is. Uh, it's usually in March, isn't it? Is it early or is it late? I thought it was early. You're talking in Chicago, right? Yeah, it's um. What the hell's the name of it? D-Day? Normandy. No, I know, but it's invasion of Normandy skirmish. Yeah, skirmish. Oh, dude, I want like July tenth, still... eighth through tenth. Yeah, I was Bro. way off on well, that. Well, that was in twenty twenty two. Oh, it definitely. They're definitely like uh, that's the thing where I want to go convert my gun to a mech and just <laughs> and just go and like. Doom, doom, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, you can get a cheap mech gun. A, a Planet Eclipse mech gun is is cheap. They're like thirty something dollars. I mean, sorry, three hundred dollars. I, I got a three point five. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not worth it. You just paint that thing black. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like I got a gun. Yeah, I mean, I have the mech frame for my CS two, so I can I would just use that. Obviously, yeah, exactly. But, but like, that's something like bucket list stuff. Yeah, no, totally. Like, come off the boat and just get annihilated. <laughs> oh, instant. I don't yeah. think you do it. I think it's far enough to where, like, you're you're not that accurate. You know what I mean? It's, like, just outside range. So, like, they're flying by, but they're not necessarily breaking. Bro, there's still 50, 15,000 people standing on a hill shooting as many paintballs as they can at the at you. That's you ever true. see that guy that runs out with the flag oh, and my afterwards that he's got like 900 dots all over his body? People yes. are buying him beers all weekend because he's bleeding from every spot <laughs> on his chest and his back. Yes. <laughs> his shirt's sticking to it. Exactly. Oh, his shirt's sticking. Yeah. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. <sighs> Um, so Feta, what have you been doing? Uh, I've been doing quite a lot. I'm playing a lot more video games than I normally play. Let's go. Yeah, no, I'm back into my regular nerd status, not the uber nerd status of painting toys. Um, but I, of course, jumped on the multiple bandwagons that are going on right now. I played a lot of Power World. Yep. And right now I'm making my way through Helldivers 2. That's been an absolute blast for me. I've heard it's really fun. It's oh, like simple it. but fun. Exactly. That's the best part about it. And it looks gorgeous too. I th- I just I love the style of the game. That's fantastic. And it's only 40 bucks, right? Uh yeah, I remember it being pretty cheap. <laughs> that's see that's cool. If you have like I don't mind a game like a developer that makes something like that that's like hey, we made this like one mode. It's simple. There's no story. But it's and then they charge like a reasonable price. You know what I mean? It's like it's yeah. forty. And like I've uh, I've seen the CEO tweet stuff like about their server issues and stuff. Like, hey, like I get it. If you don't want to buy right now, don't like wait. Wait until our servers are better. You know what I mean? We're like we're doing what we can, but it's not like we can just like add more. It's yeah. complicated. I think when they originally developed the game, they assumed like fifty to a hundred thousand people were going to want to play it. Yeah, a total. And it's like seven hundred and fifty thousand and one time. Players. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's right. astronomical the amount. Like they undersold that thing. Yeah, well, it just shows you like how many people are pl- are gaming right now. It's a oh lot of like, like what was that terrible game that like got a bunch of hype and the servers crashed too? Um, that was like it was actually a bad game though. It was um, the day before or something. You know what I'm talking about? The chat knows uh, but they uh same thing it was like people hyped it up but like a lot of there's just a lot of people playing games right now to where like things can get popular and like you get a lot of concurrent players on stuff mm. i'm not sure yeah you know, I really world had a big influx about. obviously and that's actually fun too and it's it's maintaining a lot of people too but 
Well, uh, hell divers too. Oh, not anymore. But yeah, you know no, I mean. it, it, see, yeah, but I feel like it's like yeah. normalized now. Yes, like, I was like just going to say that. There's still a shit ton of people playing the game. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. obviously when it came out, it took everybody by storm. But everybody's right. a, everybody's attention span nowadays is fucking thirty seconds to a minute for shorts. So yeah. you transfer that to a new video game that's not their video game. They're going to play it for a week and be like, "All right, I'm done." You know what I mean? Or two weeks? Yep. Yeah. You, you, a successful game is no longer just take everybody by storm. It's like you play it hard for a couple of weeks and then you keep your player base, and it normalizes. Very true. You know. Yeah. No. Totally. It's um. Yeah. It's just. It's just. I don't know. It's fun to see that. Like. I don't know. Games that like, like Hell Divers Two is not like a triple A game, and so it's just fun to see that like. You know, not the call the big monopolized sort of studios are like having like smaller developers are getting a lot of attention, and I appreciate that. That's how you like get good games. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's not just like people being going yeah. to like the big monopolized studios. You know, the Activision, Blizzards, the EAs, the you know those types of of things. For sure, so it's all good stuff. But all what good. Is, what is Raft? Oh, yeah. I threw that in there because I actually found out over the last few weeks that my favorite style of game is like a survival crafting kind of game. I could see you enjoying that a lot. Yeah. Like, and there is this game, Raft. I completely don't know who develops it, but ultimately <laughs> you end up in the middle of the ocean mm-hmm. on four planks of wood, and you have a little hook, and you just pull trash into your raft and slowly but surely expand it okay and over the course of the game i'm not going to give any spoilers if anybody wants to play it because i sunk a significant amount of hours into it (laughs) okay you eventually build up and get technology and you find a radio frequency and then it kind of trails off into this it's its own story yeah but i played that for a long time and realized that my favorite type of game is that survival crafting game did you ever you ever have any interest in Subnautica? It's yes, I have interest in Subnautica. I have a finite amount of money, and I only play what's hot because <laughs> I'm a tell me why poser. it's hot. Tell me why it's hot. Um, no, I, I, I do the same thing. I get it. Yeah, no, Subnautica is one that's very similar to that. There's another one that just recently came out. I think it's still um, early access called Sunken World. Okay, S- similar kind of thing. All right. But good stuff. And then yeah. as far as my tabletop tyrant things go, um, I actually just got handed a new commission yesterday for okay. my local game store. Oh, and boy. It's for Marvel Crisis Protocol. Okay. Any of you fans of Wakanda? Of course. It is the throne. Wakanda forever. And comes with King T'Challa. Oh, that's cool. So Whoa. I gotta fire this bad boy up. So it's the battle between him and Killmonger. Nice. Wow. Right up front. And the way that the Atomic Mass Games actually gives this model, the backside of it is completely hollow. So it's more like a display piece. But mm-hmm. because so many people play Marvel Crisis Protocol at my local store, they had asked me to basically manufacture a mountain. So I'll post posts some pictures in the discord of me doing it but i'm gonna make a whole mountain cliffside it's gonna be like a giant thing that you could slap on a table and play this game do we awesome. do we have a board game section in the discord or tabletop section yeah we do not oh we, we should don't. make one we there will be shortly all right perfect i can't be the only one out there nerds oh no dude albus is a huge board game guy but yeah yeah. So that's my newest project. I'm very excited for that. Sweet. Are we still supposed to be talking, or are we going to ask about mm, well, Marcus's? Well, I was, uh, you know, uh, what you got? Atrax, what have you been up to? Oh, funny you should ask. Like, uh, like I've been gaming 24-7. I call out of work every day just so I can game because I'm boy. a pro gamer. I'm a pro gamer, in case you didn't know, and they all call me the CSC god. But anyways, Marcus, what have you been up to? Thanks, Atrax. <laughs> 
It's like you never left. No, it's like you never left. So biggest, like this is the most monumental news of the year. Okay. Like actually, this could be the biggest news of 2023 as well. Okay. The Chaco Taco is coming back. Boom. Wow. Talk about a mic drop. Oh, yeah, dude, for sure. It's it's such a big thing that, like, I was so devastated when they um, they canceled it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I couldn't. I couldn't. Jesus. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I had the, dude, I had the soundboard up. For like the entire episode with my mouse cursor on it, waiting for you to do this. Yeah, I freaked to put the it hell back. out. <laughs> Why did you do that to me? I, I did it to him. Because you didn't know either. Isn't, oh, that, isn't that terrible? Bogus. They do it to I'm me. I'm like looking out my window down here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Somebody outside. Yeah, I got a window over here too. Oh, this my God, dude. Terrible. I was like, oh, I was ready dude. to grab the strap and get moving. Yeah. Um, what um, was I saying? But so Taco Bell know. is bringing the Choco Taco back. Oh, I should explain for all the people who are just listening. Marcus hit the Discord sound. It sounds like a knock on the wall, like right behind you, like a door, like a, a knock on the door. But it's like, like do 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 do. It, it sounds loud. it's directional. Yeah. It's, it sounds like it's like right to your right. It's really jarring <laughs> if you have headphone if you have both headphones on. So he's waiting for me to put the. I've had only one headphone on for that reason. <laughs> and he and, and he I put it on for like a second. Slid to the right. And, and I like, wasn't Quick. waiting for him to get uncomfortable and realize that he put it on both ears and he was going to take it off. So then I just fucking, I pounced. Hit the button. Yep. I hit the button. But in the meantime, I got, I fucked with Feta as well. Yeah. <laughs> Kudos, buddy. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm going to stop sweating. For a second. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So that's my first thing. Uh, I had a week without gaming. So I didn't stream on Tuesday. So the, the here's the deal. I've been playing a shit ton of like real hockey. Okay. And my body has not been ready for this. <laughs> yeah, I bet. So... On Saturday and Sunday, I did not stream. I skated like an animal both days. I was exhausted. And I was like, you know what? It was like 8.30 or like 8 o'clock. And I was like, I'm going to bed. I'm just going to bed. Like, I didn't even go on YouTube shorts or the TikTok. I didn't watch any of the YouTube videos. Like, there was no the anything. It was just bed. And it felt fantastic. Then, this week, um, we had a gymnastics meet at Mohegan Sun, which is a casino in Connecticut, uh, for my daughter, and it was Tuesday, and I got home like 8.05 after I left at 7.30 in the morning. There was no way I was streaming and gaming, but I, so instead, I've been reading a book all, like... So put it this way. I got home yesterday. I think by 4.30, I fucked around, took a shower. I I went and grabbed a bite to eat with my buddy, which, because my wife and kids were in Rhode Island, and I got home probably about 6.30. We just grabbed a pizza. But I got home about 6.30, quarter, 7. I legit read my book until like 10 o'clock. I read straight up 130 pages yesterday. Damn. Damn. Like, I love reading so much, and, like, my house, like, I didn't turn on the TV. I barely turned on lights in my house. Like, I straight up, like, I didn't even want the lights on, so I just did what I did when I lost. I didn't have electricity when I was, like, 16, 17, living in an apartment. I just used a flashlight to, like, walk through the house because I did not want to wake up because I was in such, like, a chill mode. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get you. Um, so... I like I said I read like 130 pages last night and like you know when you're in a book that you really enjoy and you don't get tired because like sometimes I'll read a book and I'll read a chapter and I'm like yawning by the end of it mm-hmm. that chapter because it's like it's not exciting or anything but like I'm invested in this book well I'm in mm-hmm. book two um so needless to say I just read a shit done and 
Yeah. But I felt, when I went to bed last night, I don't even know what time it was. I woke up this morning and I felt fantastic. Like That's great. I don't know if it's because I didn't look at a phone. Like I legit didn't even look helps. at yeah. Like I didn't look at a phone. I didn't look at a computer screen. Like for I haven't gamed in a week. So and we'll talk about the big news that we got from last week. Um or the yesterday. Taco? No, 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 yesterday. No, oh. the the big downloadable content news expansion. But oh. anyway, um so I'll be back to Clay Night and streaming this weekend, all that fun stuff. Uh Saturday I probably won't be streaming because we have the Elimination Chamber, the next wrestling like pay-per-view happens, oh. and my buddies are coming over and we're going to be watching that. Uh, I'm playing hockey on Saturday. Um, it's official. We are making a beer league team next year. So oh. now, mind you, I am a co- like they call me the cone because I'm like the guy that can't really skate, but he's going to join a team. Like these guys all played, so I scored a ringer. So one of Jewel, my daughter's gymnastics teammates, her dad was a D1 college goalie. Oh, boy. Jeez. He's joining the team. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, Perfect. we have some, yeah, so we have some ringers. So we're definitely doing beer league hockey next year um, or next Dude, season. You got to skate more. You got to be able to, like, skate backwards and stuff. I can. You can? Oh, I can't see. I Problem can't skate solved. backwards or cross over. Although I haven't well, tried in well, dude, like years. I'm skating literally two times a week right now. Oh, that's great. So literally, it's two hours a week. I'm on the ice, and that's like I'm like stretching and doing all the shit. Like by the time I think the season starts somewhere in the summer, by then I'll be fine. Like, but I don't need to be a pro skater to play beer league hockey. No, yeah, definitely not. Like I, as long as I can do a little bit. Who cares? I'm doing it for the fun. Right. You know what I mean? I'm going to get decked, and I'm just going to start punching people. You know what I mean? Like, that's just what <laughs> well, you do. Do you? Is there fights in the beer league? It's a beer league. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, if there's ever right. a place to allow a fist fight. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if you play hockey and you live in the Massachusetts area, Connecticut, North Connecticut, something, and you want to join a beer league team, let me know. I think that I think the uh, practices or games are Monday nights. How many heads do you need? Uh, they say that ten to eleven is the magic number with the goalie, so ten. Because there's going to be weeks where guys can't show up. They said uh. the real magic number is like eight, but like you want ten. Okay. Oh, so you don't do lines? You just you're, it's more you do. Levels. Well, you do lines, but like. It's like two instead of like four. Like yeah. A real team. Like the yeah. game, you're not skating like you're the fucking Boston Bruins. Like yeah. you're going to be exhausted, but like. Right. Yeah. It's a different pace. Yeah. I gotcha. You know what I mean? Joyce, we all turn turning. <laughs> Dude, come Dude, That's play. a long time for you. Where are you. Where is it out of? Like it's just sleep on my couch that night. No. Where, uh, uh, what, where what are rank? we playing? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's going to be either in Enfield or West Springfield. Nice. Dude, are turning. Bro, let's go. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is this the same league that Andrew's in or no? No. He's in a league no. too, right? Yeah. But yeah, uh, but yeah. they're like, they play like a- a C's or B's. Like this is gutter. Means. Like, so, so if, if the, if pro baseball is pro, then you yeah. have triple A, which is like awesome. Double A, then single A, then you have D, then you have Z. Beer league is like Z league. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, it's just guys that are just trying to get together to play hockey and have fun. To do something. I get you. Right. Anyways, uh, the last thing, I have to admit it to everybody because this has been a thorn for a long time. The PlayStation 5 controller isn't terrible. Okay? I said it. What? (laughs) It's... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We need that again. Wait, like you can't just say something like that. No, nope, I'm not... never going to repeat it again. Nope, nope, not repeating it ever again. Guess what? Okay. We'll have a clip. <laughs> that so will be that will be the intro. So I've been playing with the PlayStation Five controller a lot because I've been playing Minecraft with my son, and it's not terrible. The it's only good. well, the controller itself feels good. 
Okay. Okay, but the the analog stick still sucks ass. The placement like, does. The placement of it, right. Like, the Xbox is like the true controller, but the paddles on the PlayStation controller, like R1, L1, like those, mm-hmm. are actually really comfortable and easy to use. Mm-hmm. But I've been using it a lot. So part B of my PAX trip will be getting a uh, nice PlayStation 5 controller. Hmm. Okay. I want a badass one. Like, I don't want it modded or anything. Like, my gold shadow here is just a stock Xbox controller, but it's just custom, and it's really pretty, right? Okay. Where, like, I want to get, like, a dope-ass paint job one. Like, last year, remember we saw, like, the ones that looked like Miles Morales? Yeah. It was, like, bleeding cool red down the side. Like, that's, that's cool. something that I want. And they're not that expensive. No. Yeah, there there is some bucks. Were, there were some that were reasonable. Some that some were egregious. It was like well, two fifty yeah. for a yeah two fifty yeah, for an unmodded controller. Like you're like go fuck yourself, pal. Yeah, yeah. Hundred bucks, okay, I get it. But even a hundred and twenty five for a dope paint job, sure. If the yeah. whole thing is painted, I'm, right. I'm okay with that. You know. Yeah, totally. Um, so that's what's going on in my world, Nick. What is up? So, I have one word, three syllables. Pokemon. I've been playing a lot of Pokemon to give you backstory. Wait, wait, wait. This is a point of contention. Because Chimeri or uh, Joey's going to have to, like, tell us about this. Is it Pokemon or is it Pokemon? Pokemon? It's like Pokeball. but I I've I i do not know at all. So, Pokemon <sighs> probably is the, yeah. I probably correct if See, I had to guess. But I don't know how to pronounce Japanese words. So I'm yeah. in a weird camp because if you're talking about the actual monster, it's a Pokemon. Okay. But if you're talking about like the grand universe scheme, it's Pokemon. Okay. Huh. Okay. So both are correct. It's like tomato and tomato. They're both correct, just said different ways. Well, tomato People get is real not worked correct. up about like a lot of stuff, but in the show they're called like when they're referring to Pikachu, it's a Pokemon. Yeah. Mm. But, but in like, the intro, they call like they say Pokemon. Yeah. All right. Pokemon, gotta catch a monster. It's not Pokemon. It's Pokemon. You know what I mean? It's very yeah. clearly Pokemon. Yeah. But, so I think I see what you're saying. Plural versus singular. Po- a Pokemon. Blah, 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 blah. I had to ask that spicy question. I honestly hadn't given it much thought. But um, anyways, uh, so I got... Actually, I got Joey one for Christmas. That's what prompted me to buy one for myself. Oh, there it is. What is, is that? that? A, is that a one analog stick? Yep. That's strange. Why? Wait, what is it? It's a... Sh- hold it up again. Is that Game Boy Advance? No, it's a it's like a Abernack. It's basically it's... a Game Boy Color shell modded to hell. Yeah. That is an emulator. Right. So and it's preloaded with a bunch of games. Like what? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like we're running through here. We got all kinds of Nintendo games, Game Boy, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64. Where the fuck Game do Boy I Color get that? I got Advance. my I got Joey's on Amazon, I think. I got mine on the TikTok shop for like $27 or something. Mine doesn't have the analog stick. I forget what it is. PlayStation, PSP. Does yeah, it, mine, wait, wait, mine wait, wait, has, wait. Mine has your favorite game, Marcus. It has Symphony of the Night? Yep. <sighs> it's game over. <laughs> like, that's like the perfect thing for the road. Like, the exactly. Switch is cool and all, but like... Eh, sometimes you don't want to play one of those Switch games. Yeah, you just want to play like, uh, the classics. I know. I'll, I'll, I'll hook you up with the details. Wait, no, no, no. Uh, don't worry. Joey's on it. What is it called? I think it's the sa- same company. It's like Amber Nick or something. How do you spell it? If, hey. Alpha. November. Bravo. Echo. Romeo. November. Oh my god. India. India? Well, they're expensive. Well, they can be. I got the cheaper one for myself. This one is $62. I 
I think Joey's was like in that ballpark. I forget. And I got him the he wood can't grain see one. it, but here. Yeah, I Wait. got him the I you I got him the wood grain, which is cool. No, this thing is legit. Yeah. Why is it not doing it? This is the okay. There we go. What does that say? Screen's black. Pause for dramatic effect. Is the game loading? Is that what you're yes. showing me? Oh, it's loading so hard I can feel it. <gasps> I just creamed my pants, dude. Oh, is this Symphony of the Night? Is that what you just loaded? Retro hand- handheld game yeah. with 500 oh, classic nice. FC games. Marcus, look at Joey's. I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> right, you can call the show. I'll be back. All right, I know. Right? So, anyways, I've been playing. So back the first, well, the first first game I had, I had a hand me down original Game Boy, the gray brick. And I hand me yeah. down um, Pokemon Yellow that obviously I started over and played my own. But I didn't play. I was like, you know, I was born in ninety five, and Pokemon came out in like ninety seven, I think. So like, you know, I was five six maybe when i'm getting these things and then i think essentially the 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 original game boy hand me down was like a test run just before my parents bought me a game boy color i was like all right let's see if he actually is going to use this thing and i was using it all the time and so then i got a game boy color and when i did it was a um i got silver version and because it matched my game boy color it was like the pichu one it was like silver and like the little red dot on the game boy color was like pichu's cheek Mm. The red dot. It was cool. But, um, the, so I've always like wanted to play silver and then I found my silver version a while ago, like more than a year ago. But I realized that the, there's little batteries, like little coin batteries in each of the cartridges. That's like how you get your save files. And the battery was dead. So I was like, I think I texted Joey like, Hey, can you, do you want know to solder this? Like to replace mm-hmm. the battery he was looking into it. And then, you know, just, life gets busy. You forget and then, uh, I actually I think I even bought screwdrivers to un- to unscrew the back of the cartridge. But, um, anyways, circle back to this. I'm like, you know what? I, it, the game ad came up for one of those. I just impulse bought it. I bought it was like a cheaper one, and it was on some crazy sale. And I was like, you know what? TikTok shop, you can have my money. Marcus, what are you gawking at, dude? This thing says it has five thousand four hundred and seventy four classic games. That well, is correct. There's a lot of junk on there too. Oh yeah, there's a lot. Bomberman, I, Bomberman one, bro. It's got Neo Geo yeah. on it, yep. like yeah. the fucking Neo Geo. I don't even know what that is. I, exactly, I, that's museum quality shit, dog. Right. I mean, like, there's there's some like Super Nintendo like, F Zero. Like, you know how many times I fucking? Oh my god, I got such a hard on right now. Marcus is just going down a rabbit hole. But anyways, I'm playing silver. I looked up the glitch to get all uh, three starters where you use, like, the save in the boxes. I did that. Fucking seven-year-old Nick would be pumped. I got all three starters. <laughs> the only thing is I don't have – when you do that, the two – the first two that you grab for the glitch don't register as you owning them in your Pokedex. So if you're trying to complete the Pokedex, it doesn't work. But, um, but yeah. That game's a lot easier when you're, like, an adult and, like, can wrap your mind around everything. Like, I remember being so confused. You get to, the like, the caves with the unknown, like, really early in the game. Like, after the first gym, before the second. And I remember being so confused and getting lost and stuff. And then after that, it's straightforward. But it's, you fi- it's awesome. Do you find yourself playing it on the couch? Like, at work? On lunch? At your oh, apartment? The first day I got it, I was, like, trying to sneakily play it at my desk at work. I was like, all right, I got to put this away. <laughs> I was playing it everywhere. I was going to the bathroom just to play for, like, five minutes. That's great. <laughs> it's like, all right, let me just get, like, fucking two levels on. I'm just trying Pokemon. to find the next Poké Center. Right. That's exactly. it. Exactly. That's yeah, all I, I got to do. I got to get one of those things. It's awesome. Um, I wonder if they'll have one at PAX. I don't know. I feel like it's definitely not legal because, like, they come loaded with Pokemon on it, which is clearly not legal. But, like, I don't know. I don't know how, like, ROMs work. If it's, like... I'm pretty sure most of them are illegal. Yeah, for sure. You're emulating a game that has a property. Yeah, it's definitely illegal. But, um... Doesn't mean they're not going to sell them at PAX. That's true. They're selling T-shirts that are, I'm sure, that are licensed shit. 
that's also true. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I've been having a ton of fun with that. Um, the my next bullet point I will bring up later in the show when we talk about gaming news. I did play a little bit of Call of Duty multiplayer for Modern Warfare Three. That was uh, a little underwhelming. I'm not quite used to it because they they upped they changed some of the mechanics of the gameplay for that for this one. Mm. It's the movement speeds faster and the time to kills faster, so it's like it's tough to like track people because they move a lot faster, and you have to put more bullets in them, like a good like bullet to, and a half or more, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is in a fast paced game like that. Um, but yeah, oh, you talked about CSC stuff, Counter Strike Confederation or whatever it's called. Shout out to Jacob, uh, he is playing and he's on their live stream right now. Um, I did not get sent the link, otherwise I would have promoted it but he's shout out to jacob he's playing right now go go kick some ass in csc um also what is going to be uh my where my pc is at uh imperial headquarters is uh remodeled entirely it did the flooring last week this weekend and did you uh, did you paint the floor did you put the stuff on the floor first yeah yeah, yeah. perfect dry lock and yeah then and then did the flooring, but um, the I ripped up one patch of carpet at the bottom of the stairs that lead into the bedroom, and that had like the worst black mold of anywhere in the. It was disgusting. Just on the tax strip, basically, I think the bathroom down there, which has one of those like pumps that pumps it up to street level, and then goes out, is at some point must have leaked because there wasn't mold anywhere else. It's only on the tax strips, like it got held in by the carpet, the moisture. Uh, it's only on like the the walls, the bottom of the walls that are, like border the bathroom. So at some point, those things like it leaked and they didn't like properly address it. So I pulled the mold, the the carpet off and didn't have a mask on because I didn't expect it to be moldy. And mm. it was just like, Ugh. and then I put a mask on, but the damage was done. So yeah, Taylor and I both were sick all week. Still, I'm still getting over it. I'm mostly better now, but I hope you sprayed bleach everywhere. Oh yeah, I bleached it. Threw all that out, obviously. Bleached it a ton and then sealed it and then did the flooring. But, um, but yeah, that was mold sucks, but the flooring looks really nice. I should put pictures of that in the Discord. I will yeah. after this. Uh, and yeah, t- I am currently uh, at Taylor's because I have job interview number two for the job I inter- I had an interview last week and I'm going in for round two tomorrow. So. Is this the full remote job? No. This is mostly... It's a hybrid, but it's mostly in person. Uh, which would be only a 20-minute commute instead of an hour commute. So, do you, Did they talk about... Do you know... See, like, I, it's always weird to me when you apply for a job. Do you know the money range uh, before you apply? Yeah, well, this... most A lot of them you don't, but this one they do. So, like, hey, this is pay grade, you know, like their code. And then they post, like code this is this to this okay so all right yeah the high end is pretty good I'll, i'm gonna ask for like three quarters of the way up the scale i guess a good way to 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 like negotiate now is to say like you want a comparable spot in the range like at, at where i am now i'm like a little over halfway through the range call it three quarters of the way through the range of like pay grade, so like towards the top, and then I would want a similar position in their pay grade, which would be a big raise for me, but because they just their their grade is way bigger. Gotcha. I'd be sure. like like I'm at like the top, call it you know seventy percent of the way through towards the top of my current company's pay grade, but I would be at like the bottom ten percent of this new company's pay grade. So, <laughs> so I'm not going to tell them that though. I'm just going to say no. I want to stay. Yeah. No. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> X way through, but so we'll see. It's an hour. It's a long interview, though. I'm basically recording another podcast because it's sixty to seventy five minutes. Jeez, do yeah. they now? Um, with like, I don't think Marcus processed what I just said. I did. Yeah, it's like yeah, with the immediate team, and then like one doctor and a second doctor, and then like my immediate boss, and then the, his boss's boss. It's yeah. <laughs> It's like so rounds. It's a whole panel. Yeah. Well, it's like ra- rounds of people. I don't know if they're all in the room at the same time, and then like they take turns asking questions or something like that. But it's like time chunks for each person, so it's a lot. But I don't know what the hell we're going to talk about for that long. 
Bro, you, you can think of something you podcast. <laughs> I know. Like you'll be you'll, you'll be just fine. Oh, I'll be fine. I'm just like I don't know, whatever. Um, but you know what's funny is I googled your name, and the first thing that pops up is working class nerds co-host. Of course it. Is. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they definitely don't. You don't want to. Uh, whatever. All it's right. fine. Just send them the link to Riverside as soon as you get into this interview, and you'll be good to go. I know, right? <laughs> or edit that part out about the money. Oh, I didn't say what what I want. But no, no. Oh, but oh, oh about me no, not you making said, it. Yeah. I'm going to swindle them by saying yeah, that yeah, exactly. I want to stay at the same pay rate, but it yeah, is a significant yeah, increase. That's gonna, the, we're going to need to edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's fine. Where's the dump button? Uh, the dump. It's just like no, I uh, career advancement. Well, I'm maybe. happy. Listen, I'm happy for you, man. I um, I mean, I didn't uh, get it yet, but no. And and Nick, I applied. I had my interview last week for a new job, and I will say, I am an absolute terror in an interview. <laughs> yeah, because you don't conform. No. They were like, well, you know, when you're doing this, because it's the exact same job I'm doing, just a different district, okay. but it's more money because it's out east of my state. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's more money. And they're like, well, you know, it's more of a lateral move. And I'm like, bullshit it is. And then I lay it all out. And they just sit there like, <laughs> like they don't know what to say. Yeah. because. And then I talk to people all the time. So they when they try to try to throw bullshit, I'm like, you guys know that's not true. Like, you guys know that. And they're like, uh, uh, uh. And, and I'm like, but here's the thing. You don't do the corporate speak. You just well, at it. all. Yeah. And I'm like, you guys know that the instant I'm out there, I'm going to save you half of what you guys spend on subcontractors because I do it. Right. And he's like, well, you know, uh, you know, we, they, they, you have to take care of eight stores out in my district. And I'm like, dude, I take care of. 12 now it used to be 14 and i've only been in this company for a year and a couple months i take care of more stores than anybody else in our company and i was like do you want the phone numbers to all of my store directors that uh, all the stores i take care of i'll give you their personal phone number call them and ask them if they uh they liked what i do (laughs) and he's like (laughs) ah it's like dude you have no leverage like right well the reason why i applied nick um is less about the money, but it's four days a week. Yeah, that's really nice. Four tens. That's a big difference. Bro, can you imagine if I have every single Friday off or every single Monday? Or, or hey, if it works out, I get Friday one week and Monday the next, and it's like a four-day weekend every couple weeks. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Bro, I say bye-bye to the wife and the kids. Bye-bye. <laughs> Game it. <laughs> oh, can you do the laundry? No problem. I'll be done with all that shit by 10 a.m. Right. I'll be just <laughs> running through the house like, got to get done. Got to get Kind of like just catching like them Sonic all. Connect, c- catching the ring. So, <laughs> so back to your job, Nick. Um, now, do, will, did they, do they say if there's ever, like, if they you get through the second interview, do you have a third? I think after this, it would probably be uh, like either a call with like an HR person to discuss the salary stuff, or like the manager, or like both, or maybe the third interview is like strictly salary stuff. Essentially, they offer you the job. If you get a third interview, it's essentially like here's the job, and then you're ironing out like the details of the funding stuff. Sure, mm. if that makes sense. And what would your commute go from? Because right now, from your new house, it's forty minutes. No, well. With no traffic, it's like 45, essentially, but it can be 47 in the morning, or it can be an hour and 15 minutes, depending on the traffic. So it's like, you don't, you kind of, sometimes I get to work early, sometimes I get to work half hour late, you know what I mean? Right. And they leave at the same time, it just depends on the traffic. It's because it's just so much highway. Yeah. You know, it's 84 and 91. Right. So I get all the Hartford traffic through 84. And then I get all the 91 traffic near Springfield as things bog down, too, which can be, you know, and then you throw an accident in there, construction, and forget about it. But And what would the commute go to if oh, you got this one? It would be like 22 minutes or something like that. So max of like 35 with traffic. Yeah, which is 
no, I think even tw- I looked it up during rush hour and it was like 22 minutes. I think wow. It's, like, it's you're not on the highway very long, so there's not a lot of like rush hour traffic to hit. Sure. That's but, sweet. Yeah, it's not it's dramatically better. But got to get it first. So <laughs> Well, of course, but I still like to talk about. It. Mm. But that's the <clears throat> that's the goal anyway. Cut down the commute time, make more money. You know, just try to win two birds. <laughs> Killed two, yeah, two birds with one stone. But do Marcus, do we have any AIE news? Tuesday nights, nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time is Destiny Two Clan Night, where we shoot each other in some private PvP to end the match. It's always a great time. Like I never thought, I always saw playing private PvP matches. You were throwing away valuable XP. But you don't realize how much fun you have when you're just playing in a PvP match with your friends. And it all then you also find out who actually likes PvP and who despises it. You know what I mean? It's yeah. always funny to me. But either way, uh, Tuesday nights, it's the place to be in AIE. If all this sounds fun to you, go to AIE-Guild.org. Get the Discord information at the top right-hand corner of the screen. And whether or not you play Destiny 2, Star Wars Old Republic, Elden Ring, Pokemon Silver, Hell, 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 whatever, Tau World, whatever it <laughs> Hell is. Hell Divers 2. Yes, Hell Divers 2. Whatever it is, I guarantee we play it or somebody is playing it. So hit us up because we would love to have you. So, currently right now, Atrax is being a pro gamer. Mr. Feta, our community manager, is dreaming about painting minis. Nick is doing the pee-pee dance, and I'm just interrupting everybody. So, we'll be right back. My God, what is taking him so goddamn long? Nick, hurry up, man. It's all that beer you're drinking. Come on, bro. Rose of four hoes, man. And we're back. Today, we're talking a lot of different gaming news. We have all kinds of announcements this week. I wouldn't. Yeah, it's gaming news, I guess. Yeah. So first thing, let's shout out um, to Last Epoch, E-P-O-C-H, Epoch. Epic? What did you say? Epic? Epoch. 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 Uh, it's made by 11th Hour Games. Um, they sent us free copies of their brand new ARPG that just got released yesterday. Hmm. Wow. So, um, in the background, uh, I, your boy Marcus has been talking to a lot of different game studios over the course of the last, like, three months, talking games, getting ready for packs, finding out who's going to be there, and in the process of meeting all this, and then getting in with Bandai Namco and their press, all that stuff. Um, I met these guys, and they sent us a review copy. Uh, actually, a few copies of this game. So, uh, one of our community members who loves ARPGs, uh, Obi, is going to be playing it this weekend. So, look out next week for the review of the game. I'm super excited. Um, it's beautiful. If you guys Google it, I gave you and Nick uh, the link in the show notes if you want to yes. check out the uh, game. It's it's like a cross between Diablo 4 and um, I don't know what you would say. Oh, this looks awesome. Yeah, it's like a cross between Diablo 4 and Path of Exile. Um, if you're into those games. Mm-hmm. The graphics look unbelievable. But maybe that's just because that's how all games look now. You know uh, what I mean? This this one's something. This one's a little extra. Yeah, well, so it they took they like... took some time to develop this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this looks nice. And so it's available on Steam. I think it's 35 bucks, 34.99. But I'm super excited. Thanks 11th Hour Games. We're going to be diving into it. Um Yeah, thank so, you. And, you know, if uh, I'm excited to hear all about it, oh. um, I personally won't be playing it. I don't have that much time, but our community will, and we will be giving a full review on it. But oh, Marcus, yes. They have a Void Knight class. I know. Oh, dude, I watched all about it. Dude, I just don't have time. Like, I would oh. love to play this game. Feta, if you want a copy, I have plenty. 
Um, and then you can mm. write your review, and we can combine the reviews and uh, do it. And because, it. yeah, because between me and you, like, I want to play it, but I don't want to be selfish and not have somebody who loves ARPGs play it. You know what I mean? Mm. Especially mm. For people that are in our community that play and are so active, you know? Yeah, totally. It doesn't make sense to waste no. the code on. Like, I know, like, you know, if we fast forward three months from now, I would have time to check it out, probably. Mm-hmm. But right now, I do not. So I, it would be like a code would be wasted on me. That's what I, I think I said that to you in text. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Well, Nick, you're you're in a crazy transition part of your life, right? Yeah, like me moving and changing jobs combo. It's like. Yeah, that's your that's whole life. Lot. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. So, and yeah, once you settle, like, honestly, what I see happening with you, Nick, is once you settle in, I can really see you finally diving into Baldur's Gate. Oh, yeah. I just because, like, because, like, yeah, because you're like, awesome. I forgot to ask, Nick, are you playing, uh, are you still watching Critical Role? Oh, yeah. I, oh, that's a constant. I'm just watching a lot of Critical Role. So, it's like, I drive to work, during work, showering. I should find the YouTube video I watched because I Googled, if you're watching Critical Role, will you like yeah, Baldur's Gate 3? And they had this video that he's like, dude, I never played D&D before, but I started watching Critical Role and like I still have never played D&D. But then I started playing Baldur's Gate and it's basically Dungeons and Dragons in yeah. video game four that you can play by yourself. Like you don't need to play with other people. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I don't know what class I'm going to make though. That's the real question. Barbarian. No, I like spells, man. The spells are cool. Uh, I, I did. I had a lot of fun playing as a paladin. Oh, it was a paladin, and then I took a, a, a level in Warlock. Yeah. For the campaign Joey ran, the one-off, that turned into two-off, but it was oh, that time normally fun. happens. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. But the point is, I can't like I can't wait for you to be settled, because then like you can start diving into those things. Right. Again. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. like, obviously you're not going to not dive into them. Right. It's just right now you're fucking in between life. I know. And at some it, point, I'd like to get you down here, Marcus. A, so you can check out the flooring. But B, so we can go to J. Tim's. You can get those wings actually in the restaurant, which is way oh. better than takeout. Oh. <sighs> Joey, same to you. <laughs> Dude, I'm, like, so far away from J. Timothy's right now. I know. you. But live... I can smell it. I know. I know. It's Let's go next Wednesday. Do you, you don't have to tell me twice. Yeah, I would say, Feta, you could meet me, but, like, I'm completely off your path to get there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of out of Joey's way. But pretty soon, Joey, I'll have my spare bed, my bed from my apartment in the basement in the room I just finished. So we just finished, I should say. Taylor, why do you, Taylor, why do, you, do you need a guest room? Um, I think it's good to have one, just in case. It's also a nice bed. I don't want to, like, ditch it. Yeah, that's true. Hey, it's going to be perfect because when Nick is, when she says, no, you can't play video games, I'm going to play video games. She says, no, you're not. I'll I'm just going sleep to my in the room. basement. I'm going to my room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need your bed. Uh, I got mine, and it's actually more comfortable than yours. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good for, like, I don't know, or if somebody wants to take a nap or something, it's just like it's nice to have a. It's good to have a guest bedroom, bro. Somebody that's such a and... bro. I'm gonna tell you this right now. You want to call me sexist? Fine. That is such a woman thing to say because that's the same shit my wife says. We have a spare room, and it was set up perfect. It was like the kids' art room and like part office, but somehow magically there's a fucking bed in there now, and I'm like, for what? Like, what do we need this extra bed for? Somebody, if if your mother needs to sleep here, she can sleep on the fucking couch for a night. Oh, whatever. But um, I don't know. It's just nice to have. They're like, mm-hmm. what if your what if your nineteen year old cousin comes over and gets hammered with y- your wife and her friend when I ask to stay I fucking over? sleep on a fucking air mattress. <laughs> uh, Nick, there was hysterical. many times of that. Okay, I know. <laughs> <laughs> It Anyways, moving once. on. So so the biggest news for me this week, uh, Elden Ring finally dropped their downloadable DLC news, which is their expansion. It's called Shadow of the Erd Tree. It's a three-minute trailer. That and, looks epic. Right. And I'm not, 
like I haven't finished the game yet, but it, now I know. So it's coming out in June, June twenty first. I have four months to beat the game, so I am doing it. Um, <coughs> I have a goal now, but the thing about it is, I didn't realize how big this game is until like people are fucking losing their mind over this DLC. Yeah. Like, like people are losing their mind. And it's yeah. wild to me how many people are going crazy because, like, I looked the night before uh, the announcement that the DLC trailer was coming, there was, like, 15,000 people playing Elden Ring on Twitch, right? And let me just look re- right now. I will tell you. Uh, there's 23,000. Last night, there were 70,000 people watching people play Elden Ring. Wow. Like, it's just mind-boggling to me how much, you know, um, how many people are, uh, how do I say it, uh, just growing. Yeah, just it's just... Yeah. How giant that community is. I, I get what you're saying. Um, I'm excited yeah. for it, and I've never even played Elden Ring. Dude, see, like, I would tell you to play it, but, like, it's a waste of breath, because you can't play anything. <laughs> Not right now. Yeah. Um, can I talk about my gaming news real quick that I, uh, I realized? I have one quip. Sure. Okay. I'm reading some articles on the DLC, mm-hmm. and Marcus, yeah. it doesn't look good for you. Why? It says that it's, like, upping the difficulty significantly. Well, they all do, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, so, yeah, but hear me out. By the time you beat Elden Ring and you're level no, 150, you're yeah. yeah, you're good at playing the game, first yeah. and foremost. Uh, I, M- Marizaki, or whatever the guy's name is, he said there is going to be... Like, uh, uh, like, because he's saying, like, once you're at a point in the game, like, I don't know, it's like five hours, you're going to be able to go into the DLC if you want to, and you'll be able to level through the DLC. So, like, there's going to be a curve of it, um, I'm sure. Like, I'm sure, like, in this, you have your story bosses that are hard but not super hard. It's all the extra, extra bosses that make it super hard. Yeah, that makes sense. They say that the... uh, the doubt the DLC is sixty gigs. Jeez. Okay, that's it's actually 10, pretty reasonable. Ten new boss fights. Well, so it's ten new main boss fights. Yeah. So wow. they're saying it's a little bit bigger than Limgrave, which is the starting area. That land is fucking huge. That's great. And that doesn't, like, ten bosses, but that might be just big bosses. That might not count dungeon, like, cave bosses. Oh, absolutely like, not. Like, in the world bosses. Like, that's just ten, ten main bosses. Like, this thing could be massive. And, they're, and, and from what I understand is they under-promise and over-deliver. Like, they could be, there could be straight up, uh, you know, Three zones that we don't even know about. But think about, in a game like this, how big 60 gigs is. Huge. How big is the game, the base game? I don't know. 70 or 80. Uh, oh, really? Uh-huh. Oh, so 60 oh. gigs for a DLC is almost doubling uh-huh. the game? Holy crap. Uh... I'm surprised at how well optimized that Se- is. Oh, Elden Ring right now is 60 gigs. So it's doubling the game? Yeah. Even if it's not as optimized and it's like another It's what, probably not as optimized. What, but like fine, still. Though. So who cares? Yeah. In a world where like a Call of Duty gets away with 200 plus gigabytes of storage, you, like I, that's, that's fine. Like I that's watched, completely reasonable. I watched a guy play it on stream and his stream title was like 3,000 hours in Elden Ring. Dude, nothing could hit him. I bet. <laughs> like this guy was just nasty and he was a level one wretch like with a club and he was just annihilating these bosses and I'm going Are, is this for real? <laughs> like I can't even dodge let alone but it's funny because when you're playing it you think you're not getting better 
but I'm definitely getting better at the game. You know? Yeah. And, and you learn the dance. Yeah. That's and all just, it is. And just to top all that off, last week, um, Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 were on sale, and I bought them. Ooh, so nice. now I have all the FromSoft games, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, because I have Bloodborne for the PC. Oh, I don't have Demon Souls. I'm going to get that for the PS5. Uh, Bloodborne is not on the uh, PC yet. Or, yeah, it's not yet. So uh, oh, very shoot. soon I'll have all of them, and that's going to be my focus because I like, I like how hard the games are, and I like that there's zero easy mode. And I hate swearing. You hate swearing. What do you mean? Like, motherfucker! Oh, you swear. Like having to yeah. exclaim. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. What's the oh. matter? Uh, they did a data mine. Oh, I don't want to know. It says there's space for up to 30 new bosses. Yeah. Wow. Well, so 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 we're on the same page. In Limgrave, in the opening area of the original game, there is 40 bosses. Right. Holy crap. Between cave bosses, dungeon boss, main bosses, that uh, and and um like in the world bosses. So it's basically basically doubling the size of the opening area and it probably it'll be combining like the weeping peninsula which is not Limgrave but it's part of it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's crazy. The game is unbelievable. And like the story like what's cool is like there's quests, but if you don't listen to what they're saying, there's no way to repeat what they're telling you. Hmm. And you don't, like, this one lady was talking to me, and I went and did something, and then I did something else. When I came back, she was killed. I lost her quest. Oh. Damn. Mm-hmm. That would drive me nuts, though. Yeah, and there's no getting it back. Uh, you just gotta got to do that stuff when you see it in the nonsense. moment. Nonsense. You know, see, I gotta say, like, just to take a step back for a second, I really appreciate that Marcus is so into a single player RPG. It's so hard, Nick. I get it, but it's well, just it's it, just awesome that I'm I'm glad that you're into it. The you only know? reason why I'm playing it is because of streaming. Okay, like I don't think I could play that alone, like by myself, beginning to end. I see because I'm saying. such a social yeah. gamer. Yeah. Yeah, that with streaming, I get best of both worlds. Like if somebody's chatting with me in the stream, I can chat with them. Um, But at the same time, you know, at the same time, I'm if nobody's chatting with me in the stream, I can just be playing the game. And in the end, do you know how many shorts I've gotten just from Elden Ring? Oh, yeah. Like, a the lot. content, yeah, I yeah. have more to go, and I've just been so busy. But, like, I think I still have six or seven that I haven't even posted to anything yet. And it's anytime you do something stupid, perfect clip. Anytime you do something else, beat a boss, clip. And it's just good. Yeah. That's great. Anyways. Um, moving right along, the mm-hmm. other news that I was going to share is... Uh, the classic games, Battle Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2 for, like, the PlayStation 2 were, like, going in the way, way back machine. They're getting a remaster. It's, like, the uh, Collector's Edition or Champion's Edition or something like that. I think it's Collector's Edition where they're getting remastered for the PlayStation 4 and 5. Are we talking about, like, the OG ones? The OG mm-hmm. ones, yes. Third person, like... Third, yes. Wow. Yeah. All the glory. Those now, are great. Galactic Conquest and all that. Well, okay. I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the other side Come of that. On. Like that's cool and all, but they shouldn't have stopped development on the real battlefield battlefront two that's current because that game was fucking awesome. And people would still be playing it like crazy because it's still one of the most popular games. Yeah, they all they had to do was like make that game more like the originals with updated graphics in the in the Frostbite engine, and it would have been great. Right. But yeah. they didn't, and so I'm happy that we're getting a remaster of the ones we actually liked. You know, I mean, not yeah. that we didn't like the new one, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. But I think it's exciting news. I'm pretty pumped about it. I know uh, Jacoby is as well. We were chatting about it earlier. Oh, you know what else I didn't say is Bad Batch Season 3 came out today with the first three episodes. I heard... Dad um, Batch? Ba- D- Dad Batch? Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> Whack, whack batch. Yeah. 
I haven't watched it yet. Zero I, interest in that shit. Yeah. I'm going to watch it just because it's Star Wars content, of course, but it's, uh, you know, not a, not, not a super, like, large motivation Must to. do. Yeah. Well, not, a, not a large amount of urgency behind it. Like you're not going to be up on Wednesday night watching that. It's gonna yeah, be... and I'm not waking up at 3 a.m. to watch it. No. I'm not worried about spoilers. No. You know? Yeah. Um. All right, Feta, can you tell us what Helldivers is? Because I... I don't even know. Okay, so. You don't even know? No. Do you yeah, even do social you media? Know? No, I've been waiting for this episode for it's... him to tell me. It's been everywhere. That's my whole yeah, but I have, I have Hell Divers. Quite literally everywhere. Yeah. So as far as like the original Hell Divers go, I never really played Hell Divers one. Mm-hmm. You neither. But I know that when this one came out, because like Marcus, I'm a social gamer. Like I really can only play games if I have people there with me. Mm-hmm. The whole thing is based on this squad of up to four people. Okay. You drop out of, they call them super destroyers, but they are not star destroyers. Yeah. Not even close. But you drop out of these pods onto this planet, and you fight your enemies while trying to secure certain objectives. Mm -hmm. So there are a number of different kinds of objectives. Like there's one where I had to go and collect these codes and run back through essentially what would be no man's land. And then launch an ICBM. And oh, then shit. you actually watch it launch, and then you extract all of the missions. So it kind of has that um, zombies feel, like if mm-hmm. you played the new zombies. Yeah. Where you go, you do these side missions, and then you exfil. Okay. Yeah, I played a lot of hours of that. I, I enjoyed that. But the best thing about this game is that when you log on, you get into your ship, and you go to the war deck... And you see the entire, like, multiple different systems. And you're essentially fighting two wars. On the left-hand side, you have these automatons, which are just these robots designed to kill things and take over land. Mm -hmm. And on the right, you have the Terminids, which are very similar to Warhammer's Tyranids. Yeah. So it's a bug alien race, and they kind of try and swarm you kind of thing. What was that movie, Space Starship Troopers? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Very much Starship Troopers. But you can pick which side you want to go on based on what the overall war is happening. But ultimately, the entire player base is fighting the war. So if the players ignore one planet, the planet will fall (laughs) under enemy control. And the game developers are assigning the path of the enemies to try and take over super earth which is who you're fighting for okay so in the background they're playing all these things they're like oh these guys are gonna attack this planet system and this that and the other thing and the player base has to decide where they're gonna focus their efforts oh that's cool (laughs) So right now the automaton robots. Joey, launched... your cat behind you is fucking He's up going in your boxes. Nuts. <laughs> Which He's one is going that? Insane. Is... Hang on. Well, blue has entered the picture. I see yeah, that. Yeah, we got two. And I couldn't tell if that's to... Marn or um. That's Ollie. Or Ollie, yeah. That's my black cat. Got it. They're trying to get into, you know, Wakanda. Yep. Can't. Too much vibranium. Anyways, sorry, you were saying it was just. No, I anyway. just saw the box fall, and I was like, "What is happening?" Oh yeah, no, there? they're mess. I was trying to ignore it, but now there's no point in ignoring it. Um, what is the gameplay of the game? Gameplay of the game: third person swarms, like take them all down. Uh, you is have it a shooter. Shooter. Yeah. Okay. You have a loadout. You can set up primary, secondary grenades, and then you have what are called stratagems. So it's basically like orbital ordnance. You can yep. fire down. They can be Gatling barrages. They can be bombs. They can be lasers. Um, sometimes you'll send down support weapons, so you can get super high power guns, or you can have sentries, machine guns, emplacement guns, all of that. Oh, shit. I'm watching it now. Graphics it's are epic. nasty. They're, it's it insane. looks fantastic. Yeah. Insane. You know what it reminds me of? Is a cross of, like, Planet Side 2, which is an older game. It was, like, the first 
first person shooter MMO. And Mm -hmm. then the second is uh, Lost Planet from back in the day. Hmm. I can see that. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah. The gameplay reminds me a little bit of just like Gears of War with the third person. You're fighting like hordes of alien enemies, you know? Yep. Yeah. Um, Another game that it's it's very much similar to is if you've ever played like the Warhammer Dark Tide series. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where you go in, you pick your mission, you go, and then you have the hordes. Mm Mm-hmm. It's that exact same thing. That's cool. Yeah, it's whoa, this is crazy. Yeah. And you can it's set intense. the difficulty so it's whatever amount you can deal with and then Wow, it is Warhammer Dark Tide. It's, it's just Dark like Tide. it. Yeah, it's Dark Tide. I'm looking at that right now. It's really cool. Yeah. It's just like it. I really want to play this game. Fuck. You should download it because I've is been it, itching to play it for a long time. Is it on the PC or is it just on it's on Steam. It's on PC, yeah. Just on P- uh, PC and PS3, not Xbox? Mm-mm. It's PS3. a Sony game. Where's... Huh? It's developed by a company called Arrowhead, and I think it's, like, through Sony. Like, Sony owns them or something like that. Don't come to me for those details. Yeah. Come to me for the, if you have a couple hours and you want to play a game, I'll tell you what to play. Yeah, it's on Steam for sure, though. All right. Um... Another game I'm really excited for, it's because I'm completely obsessed with wrestling all over again, like I'm 12, or like 8. Uh, WWE 2K24 came out, is coming out, and I'm actually getting it. I pre-ordered it today, actually. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to it. The amount of wrestlers, like legends and newer wrestlers, is crazy. And what these games are, I haven't played a wrestling game since, like, Super Nintendo Wrestling. Like wow. WrestleMania back in so, I'm well, that's really not true. you did you played the demo quest for WrestleQuest. The yeah, demo but that's quest. like the a turn based wrestling game. That's it's not. Like, it's like wrestling meets Pokemon. Right. Yes. Yeah. Um, a JRPG that's wrestling. That's, that's no, it no, really was. is. That's oh what, my that's god, WrestleQuest is. Look it up. <laughs> wow. It was cool. Okay. Google, re- dude, nonsense. it's that's awesome. And you play as like you, you, Joey. You saw that. It was that. That was the yeah. Remember the wrestlers ring? They came out. And they, and they were really... wrestling in front of us at PAX? Yeah. Oh, that... my God. I definitely was too worried about the Everdell <laughs> game I put in my backpack. But, yeah, yes. I do recall this now. Yes. Ah, oh, that's funny. WrestleQuest is cool. Oh, dude, those guys were awesome. And the game was actually, like, the concept of the, the concept of that game was actually pretty awesome, if you ask me. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was. It was more of, like... Yeah, it was it, it was like JRPG eight bit or sixteen bit style, you know. But yeah. either way, you're welcome. Jesus Christ! <laughs> There's no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it again. Anyways, um, last thing is Paxi's baby. Jo- hold on, jo- Joey needs a fucking defibrillator over there. <laughs> It's terrible. Was, I'm over here watching WrestleQuest and then mm. you think Dustin died fucking intruder alert. To figure out what's going intruder on. Intruder alert. I'm on the it second happened. floor. Why am I worried about somebody knocking on my window? I, dude, I, yeah. I'm on the third floor at my apartment and it makes me jump out of my pants. Okay. Yeah, dude, when somebody does it to me, I do the same thing. It's but it's just, just really funny to be on the sending end of it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, last thing I want to just say before we get into working class questions, um, PAX East is coming. It's actually a month from now. Today, really? Yeah, yeah. I have the I have the days off officially. Yeah. So I can't wait. Uh, myself, Nick, Atrax, Feta, we're going to be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, this time, uh, we'll be there all day on Saturday and just drive home. Okay. It's not Sweet. a bad drive if you do it late at night. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll stay. Like I figure, we'll stay till the show floor closes on yeah, Saturday, you don't and have then to just wait go till home. Four in the morning, like I did. No. Yeah, that was a little silly, but yeah. Yeah, you should have just passed out on the fucking floor for an hour or a couple hours. I was getting yelled at by Imperial Command over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this time you're gonna be like, hey, and dude, I, it's. It's not gay as long as we have clothes on. You can stay in my bed. 
Oh, all right, perfect. <laughs> it's not that big a deal. Yeah. Yeah, I don't you care. You lift up those covers, it's going to have enough noxious fumes to kill. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> bro. Just ask oh, Atrax about the Vortex, okay? The Vortex, baby. <laughs> Yeah, Atrax was like, "Hey, I'll pay more if I get a bed." I'm like, "Bro, I'll no. smush a fucking, uh, like, I'll don't smush fit, a literally don't fit." Yeah, on a air mattress. He's like, "Neither do I." I'm like, "Bro, you're like half my size." Yeah, like yes, you do. Like, come on, come on. <laughs> Anyways, anyways, um, it's time for working class questions. Working class questions. Bam, bam, bam. Um, first, let's question. go. Cheese asks, have either of you played Hell Divers 2? What are your thoughts? If not, are you interested? I think we just talked about that. Yes, definitely interested. Mark said I have not played it. Joey has. I, I think, right? Um, oh, I've, I've, I sunk 30 hours in the last week. Damn. Whoa, that he's a pro gamer. Like, I thought Atrax was pro gaming. Like, wow. That's epic. All right, yeah. so... um. Am I interested in playing it? I could, but am I gonna? No. Yeah, I am interested. I don't know if I'll have the time. You need a squad for this game. You absolutely 100% need a squad for the game. If you yeah. can't pin that down, then it's extremely difficult, A, and probably less fun. Because another thing I forgot to mention about Helldiver is there's friendly fire, and you cannot turn that off. Oh, wow, that's awesome. So... Oh yeah, yeah. And you got to be careful if you put turrets down, right? Because the turrets yeah. will like try to shoot an enemy through you and kill you. It doesn't. It doesn't. Reg- it's just like I'm shooting in this area. Yeah. Do not walk there. If it if it moves, it dies. <laughs> if it moves, it dies. Yeah. And you, I can't even count the amount of times I've called down like an entire strafing run and just wiped out my team. And I was like, all right, guess I'm doing this on my own. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's funny. Um, um, Cheese also asks, sorry to wrap that one up. Yes, definitely interested. Have not played it yet, but I would like to. Uh, and Cheese also asks, what is your favorite type of fish to eat if you do eat fish? Gents, I got an answer, but. I have two. Okay. Um, I love, well, they're both white fish. Mm-hmm. Like, I like salmon, but it's not my favorite. Um, but I love a baked cod. Just like a baked white fish. Um, yep. I make like a Parmesan crusted one. It's fucking unbelievable. But the other one is always going to be fish and chips, like a I fried fish. Mm. It's get so good. Yeah. Maybe like I will just, tomorrow. Yeah, just dude. It. It's, it's so, so, so good. Yeah. Um, what about you guys? Joey? Are we counting like shellfish and stuff? Fuck yeah. Why not? It's got to be shrimp then. Shrimp? <sighs> really? Shrimp, no matter what. Like shrimp cocktail, huh. butter and garlic shrimp, or uh, shrimp taco. Like Shrimp gumbo. Delicious. You got shrimp, shrimp scampi. Gumbo. You got, yeah. Yeah, I'm just thinking Forrest Gump. Shrimp was... is f- phenomenal. See, I, don't love, I, don't, I like shrimp, but I don't like it that see, much. See, I don't my consider that. See, like, that's a hard thing because then my favorite would be scallops. I was say scallops right. are really good too. Like, or like calamari. Calamari right, is also but, epic. Yeah, but like, calamari. so like, I'm just talking about like fishies. Fish? Like well, fish. Actually, I was going to say my favorite is spicy tuna sushi. Mm. Like a sushi, but a spicy that's tuna fish. roll. Yeah, but that's, that's fish. It's got gills and swims. Yeah, like yeah. it's got gills and I swims. I love sushi. Like a good sushi Dude, roll. Dude, like Nick, I was actually talking about it because my kids were asking me if I eat sushi and I said yes with a fork. And, oh, that's uh, terrible. <laughs> And uh, fucking, did, he needs a defibrillator again. This is this is worse than the knocking on my ear. Yeah. Um. So anyway, what I was saying is like I'm dying to get sushi. I know, nope. The tough part is I don't live near uh, Blue Water anymore. Well, you, when spot. you're in your apartment. So before you move out of your apartment, we got to go one more time. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Because then it'll be really hard to go. Yeah, especially, well, especially if I end up getting this job right away, then it's like I don't even work up there anymore. Well, mm. I would, I mean, I'd be near there kind of when I go to Sky Snipe, but, um, but yeah. Oh, I definitely got to go soon. Um, Atrax, a- oh my god, Atrax asks, Atrax, uh, yeah. Atrax, the pro gamer, 
Yeah, Atras is the. <laughs> oh wait, what number do you think would be on Atra- Atras's jersey? I'll tell you what. I, he is definitely not a sixty-nine guy. No. Yeah, it would have to be four twenty. That's that. Yes, or forty-two. 42. No, he would be four twenty sixty-nine. <laughs> no, I don't think four twenty. Yes, I don't think he would do sixty-nine. I don't, I don't think he's like. He on always the nose gives hundred and sixty-nine bits. Oh, I guess that's true. All right, well, I would, but I would, I would say four twenty. Has like a double number, like an eleven, a twenty-two, thirty-three, that kind of bar. or something. I would say sixty-nine would be his number. Okay, seventy-seven. Like, yeah, but like he just seems like a guy who's like, I'm going to pick two of the same number. All right, while I'm at it, what's your what's your go to numbers? I'm 15. seventeen. Fifty one. My lacrosse number was sixteen, but someone else was sixteen when I got to UConn paintball. So I was like, all right, I'll just go with my football number, fifty one. Even what though fifty one's not really a, fo- a paintball number, it's like yeah. usually it's lower numbers. But well, I, I'm number fifty. Well, that's true. Yeah, that Half worked point. out pretty good. Half size. Yeah. I'm a 17. All right. Atras asks. Uh, best energy drink. Coffee and tea does not count in this instance. That's you a great one. question. I missed one? Oh, sorry. Atrax asks, what's worse, spoiled milk or spoiled eggs? Spoiled milk. Spoiled what? milk. What I don't do what. About? No, I was going to say spoiled eggs. Spoiled milk is like, if it's curdled, that, that's. Put it down the sink and that's, be done. That's sour Dude, milk. You just throw it in the woods. Sour milk smell is nothing like a rotten egg. That's like a rotten egg's disgusting. Ugh. Spoiled milk is like inconvenient. Oh, dude. <laughs> it tastes like it smells like baby. It spoiled milk smells like baby puke. And once you have kids and you yeah. smell baby puke, you'll baby understand. Puke. I have smelled baby puke. I know it's gross. But, but Joey and I both worked in healthcare. We smelled plenty of worse things. Yeah. Why is it rotten eggs way worse. I would uh. drink spoiled milk before I smelled rotten eggs. <laughs> I, I dead ass agree. <laughs> Rot- spoiled milk's not that bad. I'll chew uh. it if I don't have to deal with a spoiled egg. <laughs> yeah. uh. <laughs> Dude, just just think of how close it is to sour cream or yogurt. That's yeah, it. it's not that far off. It, it's, it's not basically that bad. Cheese that's a little wet. Okay, yeah, you ever, okay, so you ever, you know, there's obviously a whole spectrum of how bad farts smell. You ever mm-hmm. fart and go like, eh, that's like annoying. That's not, like, it doesn't make you, like, gag. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I think, like, you spoiled milk is. You can walk through it and be fine. Yeah, spoiled milk is, like, annoying. It's, like, inconvenient. It's, like, eh, okay. Like, oh, okay, I shouldn't drink this. No problem. It's not just, that's not, a rotten egg is, like, horrific, or like, in your hurts your soul to experience. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Totally Brutal. different things. But anyways, Atras also asks uh, best <laughs> best energy drink and coffee or tea does not count. Uh, I would say I, I don't have a giant like experience with energy drinks, but I really like the um, the white can of Monster that's got like the like the Ultra. gray des- Ultra, yeah. Monster Ultra with the white can. That was really good. I haven't had energy drink, energy drink in a long time. I unfortunately have quite the repertoire for energy drinks because I yeah. like, really love them. Yes. Yeah, you drink them more often for sure. Oh, all the time, dude. It's bad. And it's not even like, I need an energy drink. It's like, I just want the taste of battery acid. <laughs> it's it's appealing. I don't know what to tell you. Uh I get it. Well, not really, but I get it. Oh, they're good. Marcus, what do you think? Best best energy drink? G Fuel. G Fuel's good, too. I get mm-hmm. it. Yeah. I, so, Which G Fuel? Uh, so, I, uh, I don't mind either the powder or the can. The can is flavor? better because it's, like, perfect, and it has a little bit of carbonation, like, just a little, but the powder is fucking awesome, too, because you can portion control it, kind of. Like, you don't need to go, like, I remember when Nick got G Fuel, and then he would stick the scooper in, and he would have the scoop, but then above the scoop would be the size of the scoop sitting the there. Bump. Yeah, and he would dump it in, and he would send us videos of it, and, I'm, and then two hours later, he sends a fucking video, <laughs> and his eyes are like this. He sees extra and, colors. Yes. I can smell colors. Yeah. He's like, dude, I'm jacked the fuck up. I finished my entire work day by 1130, <laughs> and I don't know what to do with myself now. 
<laughs> and his jaws going a million miles an hour. <laughs> Uh, it's just caffeine. There's not other st- stimulants in it. It's a joke. Was not killing. <laughs> it's a joke. Yeah, That's but funny. if you take that with enough Ritalin, you'd be fucking moving mountains. Right. <laughs> moving mountains. Ugh. All right. Sovi asks, what is the worst thing for someone to heat up in a communal break room at work? Fish. Fish. Clearly. I think we talked about that. That's just terrible. That's like domestic terrorism. Heating up fish in the microwave at work. Yeah, fish is... I'm trying to think of what else could be bad, though. Like, oh, eggs. okay, I worst. can give another one. Rotten like, eggs. A, like a, it, a, a hard-boiled egg. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, yeah. see, I was going to say, like, sometimes, like, if they have, like, a garlic pasta from the night before... Uh, when and you it, can like, tell has that, the like, butter separated out? Yes, and it, like, stinks, and it, like, kind of burns the garlic a little. Ugh. That's not that bad, too. though. Broccoli is pretty bad for me. Broccoli's up there. I Vegetables love broccoli. Are up there, no, but I, I get love it. the vegetable, but like the something gross. about three day old broccoli getting reheated is just nauseating. Yeah, I I don't know. I'm the guy that brings my leftovers to work every day, and yeah. we always have our own like space, like us worker guys. Like we have like an electrical room where we have a table and chairs. Mm-hmm. So like we'll go into the fucking break room where everybody's eating. The peons, that we'll call it, or the normal yeah, people. Yeah. The and we'll heat up our food, and we'll get that place rank. And then we'll, <laughs> he's out. <laughs> Gotta go. And go sit in the electrical closet or whatever. Yeah. That's funny. Um, all right. Our next set of questions, as always, is from Doritos. Doritos asks, why are brined cucumbers called pickles? But we pickle other things like peaches, eggs, beets, etc. Okay, first of all, I'll address the question in a second. Who the fuck is pickling peaches? I, I the of the things that we pickle as a society, the three that Doritos decided to write in here, I am Horrible. concerned. Yeah, I, I'm concerned. What the fuck? Like you could have been is... like carrots, onions. Yeah. yeah, pickled onions. I like. Okay. Uh, yeah, pickled eggs I can understand Not my jam But I can get it Pickled beets I can understand Psycho. But like Pickled peaches What are you at Are you out of your mind To quote Angry Joe <laughs> Oh my god I, I don't actually have an answer For this question Why are, I'm gonna I chalk this think, one up think... Into the, the You know We're gonna put this question In the dumb question category <laughs> uh, Yeah I think it's probably Because pickled cucumbers Were first And then they started pickling other things, but uh, Doritos also asks if you could see go see one of the wonders of the modern world, what would it be and why? Um, hmm. I think the pyramids would be cool. Is that the ancient that, world? Yeah, that we're talking modern. So I like, would what, say like, the Eiffel light Tower? bulb. I would love to have been there in the no, room. You're, you're mis you're misunderstanding. It currently exists today. It is announced as a wonder of the world. What like would you the Eiffel Tower kind of is one probably. I, I'm thinking like Burj Khalifa type stuff. Yeah. Let me know what you you go you but you, you let me know oh, what you find shit. Jamie. Uh, Jamie found the old stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. New seven. The new, new seven, seven wonders. wonders is the ancient stuff. No oh yeah, shit. Great Wall of China. Yeah, like that's the wonders of the world. Like. Maju Picchu, then Christ the, the Redeemer. The see, the I world. see the like Taj things Mahal. like that. Like I would say, like for me, like the uh, like the modern. If we were talking about like the modern world, like the wonders of the modern world, is how Mia Khalifa became perfect. All right, relax. <laughs> you just heard me say the Burj. <laughs> All right, okay. So the Meanwhile, ancient ones. I got the ranch. The ancient ones are things like Greece and the pyramids. Okay. Oh, all right. And the I, hanging still, gardens of Babylon. I would still say the being there when the light bulb got turned on for the first time. That'd be neat. That'd be cool. It's kind of like like I say this all the time. February second, twenty twenty four, will go down in history in history as one of the times that the the world changed. What and that's then? when the Apple Vision Pro was released. Dude, I've seen people walking around the fucking grocery store wearing them motherfuckers. <laughs> Already. It's so weird. Yeah, but dude, you say that now just like you said a fucking iPhone or a... Uh, Have you ever seen Wally? Like, I don't like where this is going. 
Well, that's where it's, it's going, going to. to all I hate Dude, it. how about this? My kids' generation, like my kids will be wearing something, and that's how their kids will see them. Disgusting. Wow. In like, my opinion. In my but like, opinion, think about, I think like, that's gross. Think about, like, before mm-hmm. the iPhone, yeah, there were, like, droids and stuff and Blackberries. No, it was like a Blackberry, but, yeah. Right, but, like, phone, like, the world changed when the iPhone came out. And then think about, like, what the world happened when an iPad came out. And, like, all of those things. Now you have this thing. And you see people, they're walking down and they're just doing this. Like, the computing power of these things. And this is first gen. I want to try one. Right. Well, I want to try. I'm going to try one at PAX. They're going to have them. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to have them at PAX. Okay. Somebody will be running their game. Yeah. But, like, you're talking first gen is 3,500, but wait until the first gen is 500. Yeah, I, I'm not I'm not jumping on board because it's too expensive, but I, I get it. But, um, like, think about, like, think about how addicted people are to their phones. Right? Yeah. And how parents ignore their kids now with a phone. Now you put a screen on and they can do, like, ten things all at once on that their kids are never going to see their parents' face. Yeah, that's true. That's weird. Dude, I... I don't I'm, like it. I'm not going down the road of phone addiction, but, like, it's yeah. crazy. Um, I think I'm still going to stick with my pyramids answer. That's a good answer. Uh, Doritos also asks, name one song uh, that will give you an earworm all day, meaning, like, stuck in your head all day. Every single one. <laughs> All it takes is one, and it's if it catches me. What song do I get stuck in my head a lot? I'll give you a real bad one. I don't know. What? Mambo number five. Oh, yeah, that gets oh stuck in my, my head. I, it's, I, find... I read this question, and it's been playing in my head since I saw it this morning. See? Mine's always baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark. You know what else gets stuck in my head is "Cruel Summer" by Taylor Swift because Taylor likes Taylor likes Taylor, and uh, well, we'll play Taylor Swift stuff. So we're working in the basement, and it'll, you know our playlist repeats sometimes as you're doing stuff for hours, and like "Cruel Summer" gets stuck in my head a lot. I don't know. You need you a little bit of Jessica. Anyways. I'm sorry for the ear damage I just caused. What's that? Yeah, but what's that? Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, oh, fuck. It'll, it'll pop in my head. You know, but there's so many. But I would say Baby Shark. Uh, what is the speed of dark? <laughs> Instead of the speed of light, the speed of dark. 42. I'm <laughs> good with that. I like it. Uh, Doritos also asks, would you ever have a pot-bellied pig as a pet? (laughs) No. Thank you for that, Doritos. Uh, I know exactly what you're referring to, and Joey does too. Oh, my God. I have no idea. I'm taking a lap. All right. <clears throat> no, is the answer to that. Wait, what is uh, like? I don't understand it. Were you okay. not there for any of this? He was. He, you know what we're talking about. We're gonna follow up offline. We'll circle yeah. back. You will circle. We'll circle back. All uh, right. Um, Doritos also asks meat or no meat in lasagna. Definitely meat. I mean, well, meat. This, I just had my dad made lasagna, but he has a very um, meat heavy like pasta sauce. I. Go ahead. Go ahead. You do your thing. Mine's an add-on. Well, I I love meat lasagna, but I had a friend who used to make this vegetable lasagna. It was Mm -hmm. unbelievable. So, like, I'm not opposed to a meatless lasagna, but meat belongs in lasagna. Yeah, we agreed. Joey? Mushrooms in lasagna, yes or no? No. Um, I wouldn't want them to be like a prominent feature, but if they're an accent, I don't mind it. Okay. I'm not a mushroom guy. Yeah, I'm not really either. Like, I like it occasionally on a pizza, but I feel like sometimes they like put the whole fucking can of mushrooms on it. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, agreed. Um, other than your your mom or grandmother's recipe, or my dad's in this case, who has the best lasagna? I don't know. I don't order lasagna out because my dad makes it so good. Yeah, like my mom. My yeah. mom's fucking lasagna is so good. Like I'm not even fucking around. Yeah. Oh, actually, take that back. My sister's lasagna is fucking unbelievable. She takes the sausage and like slices it the long way so it's like you get the thin mm-hmm. strips oh, nice. yep. and puts that as a fucking layer. Oh my god, those sausage juices. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I yeah. love some sausage juice. What are you guys talking about in here? Find out next episode of Working, Working Class, Class Nerds. Nerds.